Hello everyone, today we're going to look some more at clothes in French. Um, of course we've looked already at lots of vocabulary, so we're going to do a real whistle stop tour here. See how many of these you can remember. Let's go. Can you remember which ones you use un, the masculine, and which ones you use une as? Let's have a listen. Une robe, un pull, une cravate, un chemisier, un manteau, une jupe, une casquette, un maillot de bain, un pantalon, une veste, un t-shirt. Une chemise, un short. Can be worth looking at your stuff from last week to see if you remember all of these. Okay. Moving swiftly on, we got un over here, the masculine, we got une over here. Uh, although there are some things that, you know, you, a uh, girl would wear, uh, so you could say girl, and a boy would wear, maybe it's a boy. Uh, there are definitely some that are a bit strange, like cravatza and maillot de bain. Bit strange. Here's the overview for anyone who needs to remember this. Uh, so how do we say I wear a jumper? Do you remember we looked at this last week? Well, we need to remember the verb to wear is je porte. It comes from porte and we change it to be porte. Une pull. So it sounds like this. Je porte un pull. Very good. Okay. I wear a jumper. Je porte une pull. Nice and simple. I wear a shirt. Similar idea. But this time... We have une chemise. Chemise is feminine, so you use une. Sounds like this. Je porte une chemise. And so once again we have je porte une chemise. So both at can be un or une, depending on whether it's masculine, un or feminine, une. How about these? Which one? First one, un. Second one, une. There we go. Now, what happens when you also want to mention a colour in your sentence? This is the new learning this week. We're going to think about adjectives. So, do you remember how to do colours in French? You should have learned these previously. So let's have a look. We have... Bleu. Bleu. Violet. Violet. Jaune. Jaune. Marron. Marron. Blanc. Blanc. Like blank. Orange. Nice and straightforward. Gris. Rouge. Rouge. Vert. Vert. Noir. And noir. Here are the words. So, if I want to say I wear a red coat, hmm, say je porte un manteau rouge. Je porte un manteau rouge. And now something really interesting that you should remember about French and indeed all Latin languages, this also applies to Spanish, Portuguese and Italian, is that the adjective comes after the word. There are some exceptions to this, but usually you say the noun, the thing, manteau, and then the adjective rouge. And also, in some cases, the adjective will change depending on its masculine or feminine. For colours today, we're not too worried about that. Do you see the way they're mixed up here? Similar idea here. I wear a red skirt. We're going to say je porte une rouge jupe. Nope, because we don't do it before. Instead, we say je porte une jupe. Rouge, that's the correct way. Now, how would you say I wear a blue coat? Do you remember a coat? Je porte une blue manteau. Nope, all the way around, un manteau bleu. What you can help you is think of this whole noun phrase here as one thing where you start with a noun and then you add the descriptor. I wear an orange t-shirt. Je porte une, and you're probably going to know this already, that it's not going to be orange t-shirt. It's going to be t-shirt orange. Je porte un t-shirt orange. Et voilà, as the French sometimes say. How would you say this one? You get the idea here. I'm going to switch through these ones. And we get... Je porte un t-shirt vert. Thank you very much. What about this one? Remember a pair of? This is something from last time. The French don't say a pair like we do. Je porte un... You say a. Pantalon... Noir. However, je porte une veste noire. And do you remember what I said earlier about sometimes the adjectives change? In this case, because it's feminine, you add an e to the end. It really does not make a huge amount of difference to how it's said. It makes a difference to how it's written. And today, there's a writing task for you to try. That's because the adjectives have to agree with the noun they're describing. So, um, in Spanish, for example, often words that end in O describe masculine words and A describe feminine words. In French, it's a little bit more subtle, but they have the same idea. And this is because of the masculine or feminine 
uh, aspect of the word, the gender of the word. It doesn't have anything to do with what the noun is look like. It doesn't have anything to do with what the noun is used for. Sometimes some nouns are masculine, sometimes some nouns are feminine. And as you become better and better at French, you're going to learn which ones are which, or at least be able to have a guess. So we have un mentor, une veste. And if we have an adjective that ends in e, you don't need to add another e. Je porte une jupe rouge. However, if it doesn't end in e, then we do need to change it. And we can always look at this with the un. Remember, the un has an e. So uh, if we have the un tells us that it's masculine, and the un tells us that it's feminine, we can say, hmm, je porte une chemise bleue. Or je porte une chemise bleue. Let's have a look. It is this one. And again, it doesn't really change a lot. Je porte une chemise bleue. Same pronunciation, more or less. Just uh, got that extra E on the end, because it doesn't end in an E. How about this one? Je porte une cravate bleue. Je porte une cravate bleue. Well, remember, it's une. So that's got the E on the end. This one needs the E on the end. Je porte une cravate bleue. And what does this mean? Je, I, porte, wear, une, a, cravate, t uh, tie, and blue, blue. Now it's time for you to try the reading task. How many errors can we find in this text? Listen carefully and read carefully to see if you can find them. Quand il fait froid, je porte un pantalon vert, une chemise bleue et un pull gris. En plus, je porte un manteau noir. Hmm. Pause the video and see if you can try that one. If you need a tip, remember that only when it's un should we have an e on the adjective. Well, are they masculine or feminine? These are masculine. This one is feminine. That means this should not have an e. This should have an e. This should not have an e. This should not have an e. So it looks like this. Here's the corrections. And it is the same reason each time. One correct. Why is this? Well, because un tells us it's feminine, so we need an e on the end. Does not change pronunciation, but the spelling does change. Now, the other thing is that in French, the adjective can change if there's more than one of something. In this case, if there's des, there's more than one, like des chaussettes, socks, des gants. Gloves, des bottes, boots, des chaussures, shoes, des sandales, sandals, des collants, tights, des lunettes, and sunglasses. Sometimes we have masculine plural, des, and feminine plural, des, still des, both times. In this case, though, you can see they're feminine because of the e on the end, like the s. If you want to do the plural noun, you just add an s. So, Des pulls there, you wear more than one. So. Je porte des pulls verts. Vert. Je porte un pull vert. Same pronunciation, different spelling. I know, French is crazy like that. When there's feminine plural, you need to add an ES. So the E like before, but the S to show there's more than one. So. Je porte une chemise bleue. I wear a blue shirt. Je porte des chemises bleues. I wear some blue shirts, more than one. Same pronunciation. Which one of these is correct? Rouges. What about this? I wear red gloves, we just did that one. I wear bray socks. Chaussettes grises. Je porte des chaussettes grises. How about this one? And green boots. Do you remember green? There. Well, in this case, there's boots there. How do the colours change the spelling? This is masculine. This is feminine. Oops. There we go. If they're plural, what happens? Well, the ones without the extra E go on to the left. And the ones with the extra E go to the right. 
Remember, if it ends in an E, you don't need to add an extra E. Some of them don't change at all. These are very strange. So some of these, even if they're floral, they stay like this. Marron, orange, creme, and argent. They're called invariable because they do not vary. They don't change. Okay, white can be a bit of a tricky one. This is the exception. Blanc, blanc is the masculine similar. And if you have more than one, blanc still blanc, more than one. However, with the feminine, if you just add an e, it doesn't really work. So they say blanche. And in this case, the pronunciation does change. Blanche. And if we have plural, blanche. Same pronunciation, slightly different spelling. So you have une chemisier blanc. Un chemisier blanc. So uh, white blouse. And then if here you have une chemise blanche. Blanche. Because you have really confusingly, uh, you have this uh, blouse as a masculine word, you have a shirt as a feminine word. Des chemisiers blancs. If you've got more than one. Des chemises blanches. No pronunciation difference between blanche and blanche here, between singular and and uh, plural, sorry. But you notice again the sh sound. Okay. Listen to this and draw the colours of the clothes that Lucien wears for the school and at the weekend. À l'école, je porte une chemise blanche, une cravate bleue et grise, un pantalon noir et un pull bleu. On doit porter une veste grise, des chaussures noires et des chaussettes noires. Cependant, le week-end, je mets un jean bleu, un t-shirt rouge et un pull vert. C'est certainement plus confortable. J'aime aussi porter une casquette rouge. You may want to pause the video and go back over this if you struggle to catch it. Draw the colors of clothes that Lucien wears to school and at the weekend. I've attached a sheet on purple mesh for you to see. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Try to ask a purple mesh and let me know how you get on. Good luck, there's a lot to take in.